Before we get to a little show and tell here on, on using the printer, a couple of miscellaneous things I want to make sure I cover. Number one is I recommend that you keep the printer turned on all the time. Turning the printer off then on again only serves to waste ink. The exception is obviously if you're going to move the printer or if the printer is going to be stored away for, for a long time, say a few weeks or something like that. But otherwise, I recommend you keep the printer turned on. Number two is I recommend you use the printer. Okay, it's like a car you don't drive. You're only asking for problems if you don't use a printer. So if for whatever reason you're not doing sublimation jobs, I recommend you stick some plain paper in the, in the printer and do a nozzle check every day, something like that. That'll make sure we keep the printer healthy. A little product we sell is called Harvey Head Cleaner. You can install it on your PC and it will tell the printer to do a test page every day. So it's just a little bit of an investment, a little bit of ink, a little bit of paper uh, to ensure the printer is going to stay healthy. If you're not using the printer, it's a water-based kind of system. Um, again, you're, 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 you're you know, asking for a little bit of problems, okay? Now, once the printer is set up like this, what's the next step? Well, what we want to do at that point in time is we want to get in touch with the Condi support folks to get the printer installed. And we can remote into your PC or Mac and set everything up for you. So what do we need to do the setup? Well, of course you need a computer, okay? And I've got my little MacBook Air, which I love. I am actually run Windows and Mac on it because, you know, obviously I need to do both. This screen is, is currently in the Windows mode. Um, what we need is we need the driver and we need the ICC profile. We need those two things. And after we've installed the driver and we want to install the profile, then we're going to set up the driver, okay? And what we're doing there in the driver is we're setting it up with the proper quality settings and the proper color mode. And then with the profile installed, what we want to do is use the profile in the application we print from, whether it be Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Corel Draw, Illustrator, we will show you how to use the profile. The profile purpose is to throttle back the inks in the correct proportion so we get the right colors. Okay. Now after we've installed all that, what I recommend is you do a little bit of printing and you can use our images to make sure the printer is okay. So for instance, I took this, I took the printer that I have in my office, which is not this one, this is a brand new printer, and I printed what we call our calibration image. And this image is a raster file, and it has a little bit of everything in it. Some are very recognizable, so you know what they're supposed to look like. And this was printed on this printer with 11 by 17. This wasn't printed on this printer, but it was printed on my Office SG7100 um, today. And it'll print the same, of course, on this printer. Um, and so this gives you an indication how the printer's doing. This is your stake in the ground, and wow, doesn't this look good. And so this printer is, is just awesome. In addition to this, I also recommend you print some vector art if you are using, say, Illustrator or Corel Draw. And we have our RGB chart, which is a good stake in the ground also. And so these are going to let us know how the printer is doing. But hey, if you want to skip right to your stuff and start printing it, that's fine also. But we want to make sure that the driver's installed, profile's installed, and that they're configured so they're operating properly. Okay, so what I've done here is I've got my little MacBook Air running Windows right this second, and I've connected it Ethernet to the printer. So uh, while we were while we were taking a little break there, I went in and I just typed in an IP address uh, in the printer that is compatible with uh, the network adapter here. So easy stuff, and by the way, we can help you with networking the printer uh, to it. Um, we're very good at things like that. So on my screen here, this is the web page because the printer has a web server built into it. And this lets us know some important things. Uh, take, for instance, your ink level. Remember I told you that the standard cartridges, we would use about a third of them in charging the printer, and that's how it worked out. Um, and so, so it lets us know our real ink levels here, real ink levels. Um, and so, again, it's just a little bit of information to, to help you know what's going on with the printer. Um, after you've had it a couple of times, probably not terribly useful, but certainly starting off or anytime you do want to know your ink levels, if the printer is hooked up Ethernet, which this one is right this second, 
then we're able to sort of get a real-time status of what's going on with the printer. Now you'll notice that we have our tray status here is telling us we do have three trays. Um, we have the bypass and tray one. Tray one is the built-in. Tray two is the very bottom tray. And so, so all this is very helpful. And if you watch our videos, we've got videos that show you some of the fancy tricks if you want to to play games with the paper trays to assign paper sizes and things like that. Again, after all these years, we are, we are raving experts on the RICO and how to get the most out of it. So the next step after the printer is set up, it's charged with inks, you've run a nozzle check, you've run the report, everything looks good, is to call support here at Condi and let us remote in to your PC or Mac and, and set everything up. Um, if you want to do something extra, the, the, the next thing you could do is watch my videos to check the printer's alignment. This printer has two alignments. It has what we call paper feed adjust, which is going down the page, and has the print head uh, position, which is going across. Usually those line alignments are not off, but if you want to go through them, just go back to conditv.com and search for aligning your Ricoh printer, and you'll see it. Those are pretty much universal, regardless of which Ricoh printer you have. So what I want to do now is I'm going to open Photoshop Elements and we're going to print the calibration image for you. Uh, we're going to print it on 11 by 17 paper, so we'll walk through loading 11 by 17 paper to make sure you grasp how to load the paper. That's very important. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, let's load 11 by 17. So we're going to move our tray here, take out our test paper, we're going to load our 11 by 17 and you always load with the bright white side down. So we'll spread these out, do our backstop, do our backstop back, put the paper in like this, <clears throat> slide this, slide this, and we're good to go. So the print side is face down. Now we're going to put it back in the printer, pull our little shield back here. All right. Now I've got something open in Corel Draw. I've got the calibration image and got it all set up for 11 by 17. Again, my goal here is not to show you how to print, just, just to do a print because everybody wants to see a print come out. So we're going to go up to here to Corel and we'll go File and we're going to do Print This Sheet Now. And if I've done everything right, guess what? It's going to start printing. And so, um, um, one thing to keep in mind while it's printing, is occasionally you'll see a message on the screen that says maintenance in process. When you see that message, it is not wasting ink. What it's doing is it's refilling the print head with ink. So this printer takes a pause and it will, will replenish the print head with ink. Uh, during this, um, I don't think we'll see any pauses at all as the uh, paper comes out. My timing on a letter size print about 30 seconds on 11 by 17 print, you got about 60 seconds uh, worth of print time, which of course is, um, is faster than, than most people can press. Now, for those that are not familiar with sublimation, your first print on, on, on paper, when you look at it, the colors will not look correct. And the reason is, is sublimation inks are heat activated. And so they only come alive when you, when you heat them and you apply them to something that is sublimatable. Well, I hope you're as excited as I am about the new SG7100 as we continue a heritage and a family of incredibly successful printers that have truly kept us on the road to sublimation success. So I welcome your questions. Um, I'm sure I've left out something here and there and I'll do my best to, to do future videos. Uh, until we meet again, this has been David Gross introducing the new Ricoh SG7100 printer for sublimation. Thank you.